Welcome to the process, skill and drill basketball series. I'm Oregon basketball girls coach Adam Wamsley. No matter what level you're at in your game, there's a video for you. Whether it's laying the groundwork as a beginner, or reaching the next level as a middle schooler, or ready to attack and break through in high school and beyond. This series focuses on the five main areas of your game that are vital to success. Footwork, ball handling, passing, finishing around the rim, shooting, and defense. Now, let's get to work, trust the process, and attack with purpose and a passion. This footwork and ball handling section has a lot of great one ball, two ball, stationary and movement drills. All the focus needs to be is pounding the ball fast and quick, eyes up, and working hard. And it's definitely okay to make mistakes.
Rip pivot passing. The key here is forward pivot with either right or left foot, whatever pivot foot you're using, and rip the ball across to your face, step through, and make a strong pass. Next in the rip pivot series is adding the dribble. The key here is creating space. Ideally, using the dribble, you're gonna create three to five feet of space from the defender. And finally, we're gonna add pressure. So kind of like person in the middle, you follow your pass, you're gonna put on ball pressure, you're gonna use the rip pivot without a dribble first, and then we'll add the dribble later and you're trying to rip through to make the pass. All right, weak hand passing with a partner. The partner's gonna pass you the ball. You're gonna catch it with your weak hand and you're gonna do a combination of dribble moves here as you catch it and throw it back with your weak hand. For finishing around the rim, we're starting with the big three post moves. These moves are important for our skill development, the baseline drop step, the up and under, and the inside drop step. You can do groups of two, or you can do groups of three or four, and basically you, you, you score, you get your own rebound, and you pass to the other side, and the passers are animated, they're using ball fakes. Uh, what we're showing here is cracking the egg, so a two-hand pound dribble to explode up. These moves can be done without the dribble. Um, it's really uh, a player and coach's choice. All right, the tight chair finishing series. We're doing all the dribble moves we did before. Um, we switch sides as we go. Here I want the players to choose how they finish, whether it's a regular layup, a power layup, a reverse layup, or a jumper within five to six feet. All right, the Steve Nash drill. So you're gonna rip from inside out, attacking the chair at the block, and then doing a retreat dribble to the chair in the corner, where you do a dribble move, and then you attack the chair again for a jumper. The Chris Paul drill, great at the mid-range game. You're gonna rip, ball toss, rip inside to out and pick a dribble move that you wanna do and you're gonna clear that last chair or cone with one or two dribbles and pull up for the jumper. Now the rip pivot scoring series. Players ball toss from the baseline to the elbow and reverse pivot out of trouble, rip and go, and there's multiple ways to finish here. We have regular layups, power layups, then we add shot fakes at the end, we add shot fakes at the beginning, we add, we add the jab step on the turn, on the turn, 
and we have pull-up jumpers. We have jumpers off the dribble and we have a few step backs. Our Laker offensive drills. These are conducive to playing motion basketball. As you see here, we start with two drills, uh, front cutting the defender or face cutting them. And then we change it up and have the defense overplay and do a rear cut. next layer of our offense, whether it's a cutter stopping in the post to post up or you have a natural post player, if you throw it in, you're going to make a move off the pass, whether it's cutting on the high side or the low side of your teammate looking for a shot or layup. Opponents overplaying or having trouble getting into the offense, initiate a dribble at. Whenever a teammate dribbles at a teammate on the perimeter, it initiates a basket cut. One thing to note about the Laker drills, they can do be done on any side of the court from any spot. From wing to corner, corner to wing, top to wing. Uh, here is circle move dribble penetration. So, like I said, they can be done on either side. Basically what's happening, if a penetrator dribbles to the right towards the basket, the person on the wing is going to circle move to the corner. Partner shooting series. Basically what we want here is we want game speed. We're going to have the shooter go for a minute and have a rebounder, and they're going to relocate. Whether and the ideal is to go across the lane from different spots of the court, whether it's it's uh, baseline to elbow or wing to wing. We want the shooters to move. Allen drill, a great drill to simulate coming off a pin or down screen. Now I have multiple chairs here for, uh, to simulate a player's range. So if some players are uh, still learning, uh, maybe have them come off that first chair for a mid range and then have your more advanced players who, who are ready to shoot the three come off the second chair for a three pointer. the pro drill very similar partner shooting we're gonna let uh, one person be a rebounder one person be the shooter and the goal is is to get to 10 before the pro does so a make is one point a miss is one point for the pro and once one of those get to 10 that's when you'll switch around All right, five spots, seven up. So there's five spots on the court, both baselines, both wings, and the top. 
So the goal here is to make seven in a row in one spot before you move to the next. And this can take a while. So every time you make, you start close to the rim, every time you make a shot, you move back a spot. But once you miss, you have to start over. So the goal is to make seven in a row in all five spots. And as your players get stronger, that last spot will hopefully at some point be the three-point line. Zigzag, a great defensive drill to learn to move your feet. We limit the offense where they can go from the volleyball line to the sideline. The, the defense needs to stay low, slide their feet, and beat the offensive person to the spot. Three-person shell positioning drill. So it's three on three. We're mirroring the ball, on-ball defender. If you're one pass away, you're on the line, up the line, hand in the passing line. But if you're two passes away, you're something called rim line. You're cutting the court in half, seeing both your person and ball, and getting rim line. So ball in the air, we're moving. It's about reacting to the ball and getting to your spot. Three on three, close the gate. Very similar, but we're having the wings and the top penetrate towards the inside of the lane and the defenders are bringing their outside feet together to close the gate and recover. Numbered rebounding, a great communicating rebounding drill, finding the person to box out. Basically you have people stacked, uh, the top is one, the middle person is two, and the last person is three. The coach picks a player to shoot it. When, I, when the coach throws it to that person, you just yell a number. For example, if I yell one, number one must go box out the shooter and the rest must box out someone else by communicating. 